Ari Hyde joins us live tonight with more on the FBI's final update on the case and what we don't see in that report. Ari? Uh, you know, it's funny that you put it that way because I spoke to a former FBI agent tonight and yeah, we talked a lot about what was in the report, but he also was very interested in what wasn't in that report. The FBI's final report into the killing of Gabby Petito does more than just wrap up the case. It includes details never shared before. And to former FBI agent Stuart Kaplan, the biggest detail is the fact that Gabby's fiance, Brian Laundrie, confessed to killing her. Obviously, there is a confession that satisfies law enforcement that Brian Laundrie, in fact, took responsibility. According to the report, the confession was written in the notebook found with Laundrie's remains. The report, however, does not give specifics of the confession, if Laundrie said exactly what happened or why it happened. I think we're all interested to know how it escalated to the point where you have Brian Laundrie taking the life of Gabby Petito. The report does say Laundrie tried to cover up the murder, saying he used Gabby's debit card on his drive back to Florida from Wyoming. And he also sent text messages from her phone to his phone. The FBI says his actions, quote, are indicative of Mr. Laundrie attempting to deceive law enforcement by giving the impression that Ms. Petito was still alive. Something else you don't see in the report? Any mention at all of Laundrie's parents, Chris and Roberta. There was speculation they may have helped their son run from police. Their attorney says that was never the case. Well, obviously we know Brian was not running at the time. And my understanding is the case is going to be closed with no charges filed against Chris or Roberta Laundry. No charges filed against anyone because the FBI believes Brian Laundry acted alone. And talking one more time about things that are not in that report, Kaplan told me he would love to know how Brian Laundrie got the gun that he used to kill himself. Who gave him that gun? But he also tells me he believed that's something that we may never know. Reporting live, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.